Hi guys, this is Amir Shahzad and from now onwards, I am going to start a very helpful session for those who are beginners. Mostly people ask me, sir, tell us what are the questions mostly asked in an interview. So we are going to start a session in which we will discuss a specific topic and regarding that topic, which questions and answers mostly interviewer asks. So today's topic is crane. So I will discuss in this that what is crane, what are the safety related equipments in the crane, what are the most important questions regarding that and what are risks and hazards associated with the crane. So starting with the introduction of crane, the crane is basically an equipment which is used to lift something from to the particular height or lower it down or move it vertically, vertically or horizontally. Okay guys, mostly it is asked that while checking a crane, which equipments you usually check. So there is a specific checklist for a crane in which it should, we should check it the third party inspection of a crane and the operator. It's equipments regarding safety, which is anti tube block. Anti tube block is usually known as a limit switch. It stops the hook assembly to touch the boom. With that, there is a safe working load indicator which is known as SWI. It is mounted in the operating cabin of a crane which indicates the boom angle, boom length, outrigger's length and at that particular angle with what maximum weight you guys can lift. Other than that, you have to check its physical condition for the loose nuts. There should be no hydraulic leakage. The tires condition should be okay. The lights should be okay. Mirrors should be okay. There should be a no loose parts. The main part of crane is its lifting hoist. There should be no damage. There should be no bend in that. I will add another video regarding the proper inspection of the crane in which I will show you the crane and while doing inspection which things we have to check. So these are the basic things which we have to check in the crane. Other than that, an uh, interviewer can ask you what is maximum allowable wind speed at which we can start do our rigging activities. So the, it is having different units for it. So we can say it, it is 32 kilometers per hour, 20 miles per hour, 8.99 meters per second and 22 knot. These are the different units used to measure the wind speed. If the wind speed is more than these, we have to stop the activity. There is one most asked question which is what is a tandem lifting? So in tandem lifting is a lifting while using two cranes. If there is a heavy part or a long assembly then we, use, we have to use two different crane on each end. And it is a very critical. Okay guys, talking about the type of crane, there are six main type of crane which is mobile crane, a truck mounted crane, crawler crane, a tower crane, overhead crane and a boom lifting crane or it is also known as a boom truck. I will put an other video regarding the, these types of the crane and I will explain it in detail that what is difference between the each type of crane. Okay, there are different abbreviations used in the while using a crane. So someone can ask you what is BAI? It is basically boom angle indicator. Boom angle indicator indicates that at what angle the crane is. There is another that is SWL that is safe working load. Safe working load is that within a described load and within the angle and the length of boom, what maximum weight you can lift that is safe working load. For checking the safe working load, that is safe working load indicator which I have told you before, it is installed in the uh, operating cabin of a crane. Uh, there is one other most used abbreviation that is POS PWAWS that is proximity warning alarm system. Basically this system indicates that whenever you come in the surrounding of any equipment specifically in crane so it will start rising alarm mostly when you come in the 5 meters of the crane after the 5 meter once you cross that 5 meter the crane start warning and telling you that don't come in this area because heavy lifting is in progress okay guys there is an other 
abbreviation used which is known as NWL. NWL is normal working load. It is same as a safe working load but it is also known as NWL. Other BS, MBS is minimum breakage strength. It is usually taken at the 80% of the allowable capacity. Like if we are having a 10 tons crane, so that at that time we will just lift 80 tons from that crane that would be MBS minimum breakage strength of that crane. Another important question is that what is a load chart? Load chart is basically a systematic and graphical representation of the load maximum load which a crane can lift. It is having a two dimensions that one indicates the boom length and one indicates that radius of that boom. At particular length and particular radius the, the load lifting capacity of crane varies. Like if we are having a boom length of 10 meters and radius of 70 degrees it would be having a different capacity but if we are having a boom length of 10 meters but a angle of lifting is 60 or 55 it would be having a different capacity the load chart will define this all okay guys there is another safety device in a crane which is known as lmi lmi is basically a load movement indicator load mo lo load movement indicator tell operator that the load is going out of the reach there is an other device which is known as rcl rcl is rated capacity limiter rated capacity limiter basically indicate the operator that it, it the it shouldn't lift the over rated load like if crane is designed for lifting uh, five tons if we will lift more than that it will start indicating the operator about it manufacturer every crane is rated so it is known as wll workload limiter workload limiter is design element of a crane that it should be one third time lower than the rated capacity of the crane mostly interviewer ask you what is different between safe working load and what is difference between wll so wll is a manufacturer recommendation that this crane can lift that much and safe working load is defined by ourselves after doing the load test so safe working load is always always less than wll because it is a manufacturer design and safe working load is our own calculation okay jumping towards our next question which is what are the main causes of crane accidents sadly saying the cranes 11 just 11 percent of the crane accidents are caused due to the failure of its system mostly it is caused due to if we do not extend outriggers properly dropping of the load if it it left the load which is more than its capacity or the web slings are not in a good condition it drops the load rigging failure if the rigging studies are not proper and it is not rigged properly it can cause the accident failure for the its internal hydraulic systems overturning of the crane collapse of the boom it could also be due to improper assembly of the crane these are the main reasons which can cause the crane accidents okay guys thank you very much for watching all this video i hope that this video will be fruitful for you for watching more videos like this in which we will discuss the question and answers mostly asked in safety interviews keep watching us do like share and subscribe this video thank you very much this was amar shahzad